Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Wednesday, March 30th, 2015. Around 4.31 in the afternoon, Bellica, Massachusetts. Sunny day out, about 60 degrees. Hopefully you're getting out there and doing some walking, enjoying some early springtime weather. And tomorrow's going to be 70. So better get to enjoy it because changes are on the way for New England. Friday, a lot of rain showers. Saturday and Sunday, cooler. Sunday afternoon, a cold front could be triggering a, a snow shower or snow squall. Colder than average next week, 15 to as much as 20 degrees below normal. And some chances of a major winter storm in April. Some news to report. The Boston Red Sox lost in, in a spring training game today against the Tampa Bay Rays by a score of 4-3. to three. And they, it was a split squad game. And another split squad game. The, the Red Sox tied with the Pirates 4-4 four to four after 9 innings. Only five more days left into the baseball season for the Red Sox. Opening up against the Cleveland Indians at Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio. Catch the game on Nesson and Sports Time Ohio. Ohio. And Yao Ming, who played nine seasons in the NBA with the Houston Rockets, is going is getting elected to the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame. It's going to make a be official um, on Final Four weekend. And Lolly Divock. Vice President and General Manager of the Sacramento Kings got a long-term extension, so congratulations to him. And that's about it on news. My second video blog subject of the day is about top candidates for the 2015-2016 Norris Trophy. The Norris Trophy is awarded each year to the best defenseman in the NHL. And this year's has a lot of great candidates to win the Norris Trophy. The top candidate this year, in my humble opinion, for the Norris Trophy is the captain of the Ottawa Senators, Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson is leading the NHL in assists with 62. He's in the top five in, in points with 76 points. And he could be the first NHL defenseman since Bobby Orr to lead the NHL in assist, which is pretty amazing. And and Eric Kaus is probably the one runaway winner with this award, but the Senators might, are not going to make the playoffs, and this might hurt his chances. It shouldn't, but it might. Another top candidate for the NHL's Norris Trophy this year is Brent Burns of the San Jose Sharks. Brent's leading all NHL defensemen in gold scored with 27. He has some 71 points. He's a top candidate. Another top candidate for the NHL's Norris Trophy this year is Drew Dowdy of the Los Angeles Canes. He's the captain of the Canes. He's just having an awesome season. He might win his first Norris Trophy. Other names to consider is Chris Latane of the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's in the, in the top five in points total by a defenseman. Also the captain of the Nashville Predators. Um, Shea Weber, he has over 50 points. And also, Ryan Suda of the Minnesota Wild has to be considered as well. He's having another great season. Montreal Canadiens assistant captain, P.K. Subban, should also be considered for the NHL's Norris Trophy. But he's sidelined with an injury. He's not going to play for the rest of the year. Don't forget, the two players for the Chicago Blackhawks, Duncan Keith and Brent Seabrook. They're having awesome seasons on defense. 
usually they give the NHL Norris 12 fee to the defensemen. It's not like for points. They don't give it too much for like the offense and stuff. But I think Eric Carlson has 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 a much criteria, in my humble opinion, to take take his third Norris 12 fee. And he's he's going to lead the NHL in assist, I think. He's probably going to be in that maybe the top five in, in total scoring. And he's going to be a runaway winner, in my humble opinion. Just forget about them not making the playoffs. He's had the best overall seasons of, of an NHL defenseman in a while. Also, I think he's going to be a finalist. Also, um, I think Brent Burns of the... San Jose Sharks is going to be a finalist, and the third finalist will be Chris Latain of the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's how I see it being played out. But they could change. And that's about it on that. Tomorrow, to end this series on an NHL, like, disappoint NHL themes for the year, who's going to win an award, it's going to be who is top candidates for NHL's most valuable player, the Hot Trophy. <laughs> That's about it on this video blog. The third and final video blog of the night will be about my take on the class of 2016 WWE Hall of Fame, which have the induction ceremonies the night before WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, Texas. Keep calm, uh, keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rosenblatt of WCCO rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hart is so, so stunning. And she's the best. Amy Swensey rocks. And of course, she's got nice legs. Ju Julie Donaldson of Comcast Sports Mid Atlantic is my TV sports crush. Heidi Pratt has the nicest legs in the world. And. Go to Newtown Grill in Bellatham, Massachusetts to get a pizza, especially pepperoni. They serve great pizzas. And there's two great bartenders who are blonde, um, Katie and Miranda. Have a good day, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. And in the words of Sean Lucia, get out! See you later.